Hello my friends, another video because something funny happened. You remember a few years ago when we, the crazy flat earthers, started to suggest that satellites are using balloons to stay up in the sky? I never heard about this idea and when I first started to research it there was very little information about it. The only thing I could find was some old NASA pictures and documents about giant balloons staying up there for months. And when I made a silly video about my cat going into space, everyone was laughing at the idea. While it makes so much more sense, why would you use rockets that cost millions to make and could explode even before they reach space? The cost of a satellite is usually very little compared to the cost of this rocket for launching them. It would make much more sense to make a few of those satellites and use sheep balloons to launch them. You could launch a new one every few months limiting the risk and cost when something goes wrong, increasing the chances of success. It's also much easier to understand how a satellite can keep floating there without falling back to the earth. As most of you know, the upper layers of our atmosphere are full of helium, so in theory that's where a helium balloon would stop going up. Compare that to a satellite constantly falling down at the earth, but doing it at the exact speed and angle so it keeps falling around the globe. Stop believing those crazy theories and use your brain. Common sense people. Now the reason why I wanted to make this video. Look at this article that came out yesterday. I wanted to do a video last night, but it was getting too late, I needed sleep. Samsung's space selfie falls out of the sky, lands on Michigan's couple's property. A Michigan woman said that a device launched by Samsung into space last week crash landed on her property in Michigan on Saturday. As the couple investigated, she told NBC News, we realized it had fallen from the sky. It looked like a satellite. Samsung confirmed in a statement that the device came back down to earth. The company described its ascent as an early soft landing in a selected area that was planned because of weather conditions in the United States. The couple noticed two logos on the machine, one that was Samsung's and another from Raven Industries. A few hours after the crash, someone from Raven Industries collected the wreckage but offered no details about the device or what happened. They didn't say anything, Nancy said. He told us he wasn't at liberty to talk about it. The device reportedly included a high altitude balloon, spent half the length of a basketball court and was supposed to remain in space until October 31st.